Hey everyone, it's Chrissy from Everyday Survival Gear, and today we're just going to be checking out the Angneng BT168 Pro. Hopefully I'm saying the name right, probably not. Angneng, 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 something like that. Uh, not a torch, flashlight, knife or anything, but I think this product is just as important as um, those other products. So yeah, so what is it? Basically, it's just a battery tester. Um, so instead of using a multimeter, you can buy yourself one of these bad boys and you can test out any sort of batteries now. Um, they've sold these for quite a while, but they didn't have them in a version that could test lithium ions. So this is the one that can test lithium ions. It says 1.2 to 4.8 volts. So yeah, um, you've got to look for the pro version. And it says scope of application with no space in between scope of application. Uh, 1.2 to 4.8 volts. If your lithium ions are at 4.8 volts and it's only one cell, I would probably throw it out the window. Um, it can also test 9 volt batteries too. So pretty interesting little device. Um, we'll check its accuracy and what kind of batteries it can fit in. So I can tell you right now, it fits in pretty much all the batteries that you should own. So right here, I've got a brand new cell that I just picked up the other day. Um, Molly cell, one of those Molly cells, the uh, 45 amp ones, and it's reading that at 4.10 volts. So I have charged this, but I have used it in the light. So these 21700 cells, they're pretty, um, not so much wide, they're pretty long, and it fits in that pretty easy. Um, the one thing about this battery tester is it doesn't have an internal, a internal battery, so you got to use the battery power from that cell. Not really such a big deal, but yeah. So we've got a 26650 here. It's a protected cell. It does kind of just squeeze in there. It is like pretty wide and long, even compared to that 21700. There should be about, I guess because it's got a protection circuit, it's just about just as long. So it's reading this um, Claris 26650 at um, 4.05 volts. You can see it does jump around a bit. I think that's because it, it takes the voltage from the battery, so it can slightly affect it, but it's not too bad. It does kind of like stabilize. If we just leave it there, it should stabilize, right? Uh, no, not really. Yeah, there we go. Why, you bastard. So not only can I do lithiums, um, I guess you could also do coin cell style batteries too, if you wanted to. Because um, it does go flat. Actually, I do have a coin cell battery here. Let's try it. Comes in handy. So a lot of people are probably going to ask, like, why do you need this if you've got a multimeter? Well, if you've got a multimeter, you probably don't need it. But the ease of use, the size and the compactness really helps. You know, this would be a really good present to give to someone that you buy a torch for or a vape. I'll put a coin cell here. I'm not sure which way is up and down on, on coin cells. 2.94. I'm not sure. That should be a brand new cell. I don't know if that's a good voltage or not. Because this isn't a uh, rechargeable. It's a primary lithium. It's supposed to be about 3 volts, aren't they? Uh, we'll check out some other ones. Yeah, so as I was saying... Um, yeah, so, you know, if you give it as a present or whatever... So this is an alkaline. Let's see if it reads it. 1.60 volts. We'll go um hmm, we'll go for the NIM. One point two eight volts. So you can see it does read like pretty low voltage. I don't have one that's flat. If I did I'll check that. I might actually, I'll have a look. I don't think I've ever charged these cells before. I don't know where it's from. So we'll check if it works. 1.20 volts. 1.19. So it reads down pretty low. Um, it's, it is going to need some power to run. So obviously if the battery is at 0 volts, it's not going to tell you that it's at 0 volts because it's not going to have enough power to run. Alright, so we'll just quickly just check out its um, accuracy. 
it's voltage, whatever. So you can see it's reading 4.10 volts on that Molly cell. We'll move it over here, we'll take the cell out. Um, we'll grab one probe, grab the other probe, uh, 4.103. So it is pretty close. Obviously, it's not as um, resolution isn't as high, so it's not going to tell you the last digit. But yeah. So if we go here with the twenty six six fifty, um, it is reading four point zero five volts, bouncing around a bit. But we'll bring it over here to the um, multimeter. And connect these two probes, and you can see that's pretty much spot on, right? 4.056, yeah. So you, you're losing like the last digit, but to be honest, I had to pull that multimeter out of the cover, set it up. So as you can see, it is like much easier to just use that angling from the start, the uh, BT168 Pro. So before I tear it down, I'll say build quality is pretty decent. It does kind of like squeak and stuff. And it's not like super sturdy, but um, what do you expect from something that's a few dollars, US dollars? I think with shipping I paid like four or five US dollars for mine, maybe even cheaper. Um, there isn't a spring here, so that's a pro and a con, I guess. If you had spring force, it might be a little bit better for some cells that kind of hold themselves in place. But then, you know, you're going to try and put that cell in and it's going to be a bastard because it's going to keep on springing down here. So I can see both pros and cons to both. You know, the screen, it's good quality. Like, for the price, you really can't complain on it, I think. So I'm gonna, just going to tear it down now. And we'll have a look at the insides. Nothing too special inside. I think there's only two screws holding it together, the clamshell. Ooh. Okay, so now we should be able to pull it apart. We'll go from the back. And that's the circuitry there. Focus, you bastard. I'll try and get it focused a little bit better. So you can see, not a whole lot on this board. Just the components that you need. So yeah, um, overall I rate the um, Agneg BT168 Pro a really good product. For the price, like you can't complain, you know, if you give someone a gift and they got to use lithium ions that can be placed inside here, it'd be a pretty good idea, you know, just spend a couple more bucks and throw in one of these. Even for yourself, you know, if you got if you charge cells on the go, um, throw one of these in your car or whatever and you can check the, the voltage when you need to just to double check. Um, as always guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, like and subscribe and thanks for watching.